In this problem, we are preparing to run a turbine by flowing water from one tank to the other. And we want to calculate the hydrostatic pressure difference that is available uh, for the turbine to run. And so we have a tank, uh, like shown on this side of the picture here, uh, with one very large tank on the left, uh, one small tank on the right, and the turbine is here and there's a pipe in between. And so in this first section of the problem, we have no flow. Uh, the turbine is closed. There's like a, a valve in there. So let me try to write a valve here. There's like here a valve that is closed. So there is no flow. And the question is, what is the pressure difference that is applying on, on between the two sides of the turbine? Um, the geometry of the problem is a little bit complicated. You see the pipe goes up and down um, and the goal of this exercise is to clear up uh, this, this scene. So what is happening? We have, a, we have a pump, and the pump may look something like this. Uh, if I represent it, if I try to zoom in, it's like a device like this, and the pipe arrives on the left and leaves on the right, like this. And we have point two, which is the outlet of the turbine, and we have point one, which is the inlet of the turbine. Um, and the flow goes from left to right, from one to two here. And the question is, what is the difference between the pressure at point two and the pressure at point one? Okay, well, uh, it's an easy calculation. We want to see on every side, on each of the two sides of the turbine, how far away we are from the free surface. Because you will remember in a static fluid flow, uh, when there is no movement of the fluid, the pressure is only dictated by altitude, by how far away each point is from the free surface. So all we have to calculate is how far away uh, point two and point one are away from the surface. If you look at point two here, uh, the distance that you have to climb to get to the free surface here, this is four meters, four meters. Yeah. And if you like, if you look at point one here, how high up do you have to go uh, to get to the free surface? Well, you have to move up here by 30 meters. And then you have to go down again by plus by minus five meters. Let me try to rewrite this minus here. I can manipulate my pen correctly. Yes, like this, minus. And then we have to go up again by plus 51 meters. So basically how much, how far away do you have to swim up to the surface over there? Um, the basic principle behind this is that this, the pressure at point one is exactly the same as if we had a big tank like so. Uh, and the tank had a wall on the side here, and we were just deep inside this tank there. We are just at 30 minus 5 plus 51 meters away from the surface. So now formulating this into an answer, we have the delta P applying on the turbine, the delta P hydrostatic. This is rho G Z2, so P2, minus rho G Z1, like so. Um, and this is rho G times Z2 minus Z1, like so. And we can just put numbers now. Um, rho is the density of water, 10 to the power 3. Uh, G is 9.81 meters per second squared. And then here we calculate the difference in altitude. And so Z1 will be 4, 4 meters here, minus uh, Z1, and Z1 will be plus 30, minus 5, plus 51, like this. So plus 30, minus 5, plus 51, like this. And if you put this into your calculator, you will get um, minus 7.06 times 10 to the power 5, Pascals, uh, which is also minus 7.06 bar, like so. And this is the delta P hydrostatic. We can square this up as our final result, like so. Like this. Okay, so two lessons here. One is do not uh, be afraid of seeing a complicated diagram, you have to clear up in your mind how many meters away from the surface the inlet of the turbine is. 
um, and the outlet of the turbine is. It may be the same situation for a pump. Um, if we had, for example, a turbine or a pump positioned at a different point, maybe at this point here, in the middle here, uh, then we would do the same. We would go minus 5 plus 51 on the, on the left, and then we would go here, minus 30 plus 4 on the right. So do not let yourself be too um, scared by this complex diagram over here. The second point uh, to, to watch out for is that there is no flow at the moment. Um, this is the potential that is available to the turbine. As soon as you open up the valve that we arbitrarily put inside the turbine, uh, the water is going to flow. As the water is going to flow, the pressure um, through the pipe will not have exactly the same variation. And we will have losses, pressure losses, due to the bends in the pipe and due to the wall friction in the pipe. So that the pressure difference that's available to the turbine, which at the moment is 7 bars, this pressure difference will be less. And calculating this these losses due to the flow is the topic of another video.